what kind of spurred you to confront Martin? Because it just seems like you guys are not taking some of that stuff anymore, like maybe in the past. You guys are playing your own enforcers. Yeah, I just told him to watch that, you know, making sure it's like basketball plays being made out of there. We know like they like to play hard and be physical, but I, you know, it's a line. So just making sure that, you know, we're not compromising the integrity of the game. So I just told him to watch it, but, uh, you know, at the time it looked like, you know, can't tell all the components, but from what from I've seen, just, that's all I did. I just let him know that. You said it wasn't intentional with anything you were trying to do intentionally. Is that something that you kind of felt in that moment, that there might have been a little something extra there, and then you just kind of see a guy go down and say something? Seeing a guy go down, you know, and I got my guys back 10 times out of 10. You couldn't tell what's what in the heat of the moment, but it looked like something a little extra, so I said something. But it looked like it was just basketball. It wasn't intentional. Um, so we, we keep moving. JT gets up, um, goes uh, to the other side, knocks down some free throws. We stood out about his reaction, him just getting out of there, going and shooting those free throws, and, you know, just getting right up and not even. Yeah, yeah that, that's what it's about. You know what I mean? Like, uh, that's what it's about. We not we don't got to entertain the shenanigans, but at the same time, we're not going for nothing extra this series. You know, just be professional. Um, we're doing our job, but, you know, we're making sure that we got each other's back. Have you guys talked about it at all? Yeah, not really, we nothing to talk about, you know. Uh, we're more focused on just doing our job and executing and winning the game, but, you know, a level of physicality is important, you know, to, to set a tone. We know what they like to do, and, and we want to we wanna match that effort. So um, that was it, nothing really to talk about. Sorry to harp on it. One more question on this topic. Do you feel like you guys embrace confrontation more now than at any point in the past like you guys are ready for that you want it you're gonna embrace it if it ever shows up um i would say so yeah like you know that's what it is like every every game is a fight you gotta you, know, you gotta win the game and you gotta win the fight it's like you know both of those things are important and uh we embrace both you know being a better smarter team but also being the team that willing to dive on the floor you know, being the team is able to set the tone physically, you know, and not back down. So you got to win the game, man. You got to win the fight. Jalen, how do you keep that intensity level up game to game? In past postseason, sometimes we've seen what appears to some maybe a little bit of a letdown, not as quite intense the next time. How do we uh, rectify that? We got to come out with the same mentality, almost like we down 1-0 instead of we up. Uh, we got to come ready to play, ready to fight, because we can't, we can't expect them to come out and do nothing less. You know, they're well coached. Um, they organize, they discipline, they're gonna have a good a good game plan of attack. We gotta make sure that we take them out of it. Jalen, Joe said that if you don't expect to see a different version of Miami, you're gonna be kidding yourself. What might that look like? Um, they're gonna be hungry, desperate, they're gonna come out fast, even more aggressive, trying to turn us over, um, just trying to crash the glass hard, be physical, you know, even more knocking us to the ground. Um, just trying to win that physicality match the any way they can. Um, I, that's what I foresee, but um, we'll be ready, and we'll be ready to do the same thing. In the third quarter, uh, Hawkeyes had a play where he kind of went through in the transition. Drew kind of yelled at you guys a little bit. He's usually pretty quiet when he picks his spots. I was have been picking his spots this year, and like, what's the best way to get him? Yeah, Drew's, you know, you see it in his eyes around this time of year. He, he turns it to a different level, a little bit ramps it up, his competitiveness. Uh, his attention to detail and his focus is, is extremely high. So um, I, we all have that accountability where if you make a mistake, we have the, our guys can speak to each other that way and they not be derogatory or negative. We just, you know, we take it, we accept it, and we improve on it. So it, I think it's good talk because um, he was right in that moment. We got to get back. Um, we can't let stuff like that happen. Final couple questions for Jalen. How, uh, how good is the team feeling coming out of game one? Just the fact that you just that layover, the, the week-long downtime is over, and you're, you're off and running? Um, we feel okay. I mean, I mean, we'll feel great if we get a win tomorrow. So I think we focused on just coming out and executing. And not, you know, not overthinking it, but not underthinking it either. Just coming out, playing aggressive, free basketball, you know, seeing the right reads, making the right plays, protecting the, protecting the paint, all those type of things. We expect them to come and raise their level, and we got to raise our level too. Yeah, how big was your stuff to them? KP's big. We need KP to just continue to be solid, you know, show his hands, not get in foul trouble, and make the shots tough. Like, you don't got to get a block every time. Just make it tough, and we'll live with that. But we also got a rebound, you know, and that's coming from uh, our wings and our guards. We got to get crash that glass hard, 
get some of those all, uh, loose balls and all those type of things add up. So uh, we got a good game plan. We feel, we feel good about it, um, but we got to win the fight. I think I can't stress that enough. Miami is a team that's going to fight, and we got to win that battle, you know, because um, that's just as important as winning the X's and O's. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.